Looks like I'm the last one, so thank you so much for letting me share. And um, to start off, just want to thank PlayLab for helping me put these slides together. It was a great collaboration. And if you want to get in touch with me on Twitter, it's at Soup Inc. And my email is josh at soup.is. So I want to start with something that I believe. I think that the people of Saudi Arabia can do anything. And it's not just because they have a ton of money and they have oil resources, uh, or because they have a rich history. Um, and I especially think this because I think they, with passion, creativity, and resources, that's really what is necessary to really think of amazing ideas or uh, solve world problems or create new enterprises. So a really exciting idea I want to share with you is an idea that will allow 5 to 10 percent of Saudi Arabia's energy to be generated without Saudi Arabia or the citizens of Saudi Arabia having to change any of their behavior. And if you'll see here, you can create 1.2 gigawatt hours per year by just people walking. And I'll explain more as it goes along. And so it actually amounts to 1.2 billion steps per year, that sort of picture that I was showing of people walking through. And what does 1.2 gigawatts actually mean? It means you can power um, 60 million laptops for an hour or hundreds of thousands of households. And so we did a little bit of research on how you can generate power with people taking just steps. And so one thing we noticed was that with our research, there's actually sensors out there that can generate energy from me just walking around. So this is actually Mecca in Saudi Arabia. It's like the holiest place for people that um, uh, have the Muslim culture. And millions of people come um, on a yearly basis, actually 10 million on average, come to circle around the Kaaba um, 40, uh, 40 times. And so we asked the question too, like, where is there a lot of foot traffic in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia? Uh, wh where else is there in the world where there's a lot of foot traffic? Uh, malls, airports, etc. And so it was something that we got really excited about. And then a larger question, how can we harness movement in general? So there's people running marathons, uh, there's airports, there's a lot of things going on. There's people that power their watches just by doing daily life and doing what they do. And, you know, why did we ask this question? It started with this sketch. And it's basically, that's kind of a tsunami wave, an earthquake happened, and this was a sketch on, you know, how can we use turbines to kind of capture the energy of a big wave happening? So something bad's going to happen, but how can we get something good out of it? And then, how did that sketch come about? Basically, these three words, quake, wave, and friend. Um, and those were the three words that inspired that sketch that you saw in the slide before. Now, how did we come up with those three words? Basically, by having a list of a bunch of words. So in this case, here's 18 words. Three words got chosen, and those three words inspired the sketch that you saw. So with different combinations, there could be a ton of different sketches. So in this case, there's just, just 18 words. That amounts to around 4,900 word combinations, and so almost an endless number of sketches that you can think of. So what would magic do, or graffiti, or drum, for that matter? And so this is how those words got generated, um, or those pictures. So in, in this case, you'll see just a bunch of words, and then three word combinations that were chosen that inspired ideas. And one of them was the one that I was sharing you from the very beginning. And it all started with just post-it notes. So it was just an exercise where we worked with students, faculty, and staff, gave them five post-it notes, write any word you want, and put them on the wall and just see what happens. So I kind of encourage you guys to think of a word and see what you guys can come up with. And so why am I talking about Saudi Arabia? It's actually because in November, um, we were invited by the King to go to King Abdul University of Science and Technology to lead idea generation workshops with uh, the students, faculty, and staff out there. Uh, and what we did was just gave people post-it notes and figured out how we can come up with really ideas that can shape a future in a positive way and really help the nation and the kingdom shift from an, a petroleum-based economy to a, a knowledge-based economy. And so 
You'll notice that I'm starting with the intro slide first. Um, basically, I took my entire presentation and decided to do it backwards, kind of just, I don't know, for a challenge for myself or just to potentially kind of make my point a little bit clearer where I just believe that power, powerful ideas and compelling ideas can come from anywhere. Thank you.